Music lovers are in mourning today, and understandably so, following the death of singing superstar Judith Durham, age 79. The musician, who gained worldwide fame as lead singer of The Seekers, died in Melbourne on Friday evening in palliative care. She had bronchial problems, severe problems. The Seekers were the first Aussie group to basically make the breakthrough into both the US and the UK markets that provided the breakthrough for every other Australian band after them. play music on your radio program, Katie, you'd know that was the gateway. They created the gateway and in came the Bee Gees, in came Olivia Newton-John and the rest of them. Yeah, absolutely. But what I loved is that she didn't sort of seek to be a superstar. We're talking about somebody who was really humble, a really beautiful, humble Australian. And with that stardom that obviously she gained, she used it for good as well. She's done so much charity work. And I just think that we've lost a really incredible Australian here. It's it's a real loss, but what a, a wonderful life to remember and a wonderful person to remember. It's right that what Katie says. She was a pop star in 1966 with Georgie Girl, pop star, but behaved unlike a pop star, behaved yeah. with so much dignity, carried our flag so superbly and admirably right around the world. This is why I think they were so popular. They resonated with all Australians, no matter the age. Young girls obviously wanted to look like her with the fringe and she was, she, she was beautiful, the essence of uh, an innocence almost. But Australia was seeking its identity and she and the, the seekers um, nailed it for them overseas. You know, we suddenly didn't feel like we were second rate, mm. that we actually had people who knocked off the Beatles, for God's sake. And, of course, when they came out with I Am Australian, which I think should be our nat national anthem, I mean, that really nailed it for us all, wasn't it? That made us feel just so proud and... And as a, as a girl who grew up with the sneakers, I just... Sneakers yeah. and seekers. <laughs> um, I just think, uh, you know, she was a symbol of all that innocence, that beautiful era, which sadly Australia's lost. Yeah, exactly. I like the sneakers too, by the way. Yeah, but anyway, you. that's another discussion for another day.